we're back at the Texas Tough Grand Prix, some of the best cyclists in the world are racing wheel to wheel and elbow to elbow. Let's take a listen at the play by play team. They have got a little surprise for you guys. And I bet you, if you're a bike racer, you probably can guess where I'm going with this. So, ladies and gentlemen, this race is getting ready to get nuclear. Joining me now, one of the familiar names in the racing community, it's Frankie Andreu. And Frankie, you know what goes on in this community. How big is an event like this? Well, I know what goes on in a lot of the cycling races that I've traveled around to. It is a big event. I mean, uh, Texas Tough does a fantastic job putting on the whole expo area and all the other areas that families can come out to see the community. And also, there's the bike race is super exciting. I mean, these guys are flying around here at 30 miles per hour. Uh, this criterium, it's only his second year in existence, but it's being very well uh, known throughout the country, and that's why a lot of the top riders come here. What makes it special for riders? Uh, partly because it's in downtown, it's in a central area, so that you know the crowds are going to come out. You got good electricity from the crowds, and again, you have that expo area and that carnival type atmosphere, which not only makes it fun for the spectators, it makes it fun for the riders. From the outside looking in, you can kind of feel the electricity. What is it like when you're on the bike feeling that electricity? Well, you, you know, they talk about getting into the zone, and you do sort of get into the zone because you have to really focus because you're going so fast around the corners, but you hear the crowd. When they're yelling at you, you get a charge, you get this adrenaline pump, and you want to attack, and, and in the back of your mind, you really want to put on a good show for them. And you can see today, these guys are going super fast. Probably about 15 guys are going to finish. And that goes to show you how hard they're actually going. All right, Frankie, thanks so much for the time. Hey, that's a great endorsement from a really familiar name in the racing community. Speaking of racing, how about we get back to it, huh? Back to the track. We have got one lap left to go. When you see them, folks, this is it. You have got to get as loud as you possibly can. Scream, yell, kids. Grab your parents and tell them to yell. Tell them Uncle Chad sent you. So this is it. Craig, this is the moment we've waited for. Dallas, Texas, this is the moment you've all waited for. This is for 2,500 and one lap left to go. One to go, one to go, one to go. One to go. One lap left to go. Come on, Dallas, a little bit louder. One to go, one to go, one to go, one to go! Adrian Hedgeberry, Hagens and Berman took that dream, sat up, put it in his back pocket. Who is gonna win? Craig, this is awesome, buddy. Awesome. It's a great finish. Last year was great when Heath Blackgrove soloed away. That was exciting. Maybe a little more exciting to have four or five guys coming to the finish to fight it out amongst themselves. So right now, look for Mike Green to attack. The attacks have started on the backside right now. It looks like you have one rider trying to get away. Madison sitting up. John Murphy sitting third wheel. Mike Green is uh, try also trying to shake it up. First to the turn, Myerson. Followed by Hedgeberry. Followed by Blackgrove. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here comes your motorcycle. You need to wrap it up. Yeah, 2009 champion is in Black Back to back, Jack. You know, the old saying is, they're horses for courses. We've got the defending champ. He wins it again, Heath Blackgrove. Congratulations. Talk me through that last sprint and how it went down. Uh, thank you, well, really it was, uh, you know, four of us have been working hard out there and uh, we had a fifth guy sitting on, so we were waiting for him to jump, but uh, I guess he didn't quite have it. So uh, the other guys were going through the corners faster than me and uh, like, I thought going quicker than me in the sprints, but uh, I guess it was a bit of knowledge of, uh, of the course. It was slick to start this race. You told me you don't like the rain. 
So how did that affect the race and how tough was it for you to pull it off? I don't mind the rain, I just hate riding the rain, uh, corners in the rain. Um, maybe I'm getting old and I'm losing my nerve, but I'm cornering really bad in the rain, so it makes it even more of a surprise to me. But um, you know, the, I know the form's good and the legs are strong, and uh, once I got the feeling for the corners, uh, I guess I got through. And a final word about, from the racing community's perspective, just how big of an event has this become? Well, for a second year event, this is awesome. Um, I was very proud to be, uh, you know, I was very proud to be the winner last year in the inaugural event, and uh, it was such a buzz that I just had to come back, and you know, this is huge. So the Texas Tough Grand Prix is in the books for year two, and to find out how you can support the Children's Medical Center through Texas Tough events all year long, log on to txtough.org. Here's hoping you enjoyed all the exciting racing. It's time for us to say goodnight, folks. So long from Victory Park in downtown Dallas.